Hello and happy Wisdom Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and for choosing to spend some of your time with me today. It's your girl Maria Milagros here. And during the month of May, we are talking about different ways to get excited about your everyday life as well as creating a methodology or a step-by-step -step plan to do the big exciting things that you want to do as well. Because we are done living in our excuses and we are going to look at the big dream, break it down into small little chunks, and then take one step at a time. Now, that being said, I understand that there are some people who feel like watching these videos with these tools about how to get excited about their lives, they're trying to implement them and then they feel like they can't or they don't deserve the happiness or they feel themselves getting pulled back into a past incident, maybe a past trauma or a, even if you're in the midst of a depression or a sadness, right? And they find themselves constantly getting pulled back. So it's like, how do they build up enough momentum to get to a place where they can actually be excited about the little things as well as the big things in their lives? And this is what this video is going to be about. This is it. You ready? Two words. Get help. Get help. That's it. They're speaking as a Hispanic woman. Culturally speaking, there is some stigma around seeking help. There is some stigma around seeking help for mental health, seeking help for, um, you know, like in terms of therapy or going to a psychiatrist or things like that. There, There's stigma around that, meaning you shouldn't need that. Um, what happens in these four walls stays in these four walls. Don't go telling people your business. What if they judge you? There's a lot of that, or at least there was for me, when I was growing up, you know, 10, 20 years ago when I first started going to therapy, and I'm happy to say that now we're in a space, at least in my circle, where um, people are readily open to receiving therapy, to going to therapy and doing the work, getting help, right? Okay. If you are in a cycle where you're doing the same behaviors over and over and over and you're trying to look for different results, I think it was Albert Einstein who said that that is insanity. That's the definition of insanity, right? It's not going to work. So in order for us to get different results, we need to step outside of those circles, which may be unhealthy or toxic, that old programming and find something new. Hence the get help, right? And then when we find the new tools and we find the new connections and we find the new safe spaces, then we can either unpack some of the things from our past and really lay those things to rest. Or if we're in this present moment and we do coaching, life coaching, for instance, we're able to figure out how do I get myself from out of this feeling of feeling stuck and moving forward so that I can start living my life in the fullness that I deserve, right? So get help, get help, get help. I can't say that enough. Get help. Um, there has, there, I have yet to meet a human who hasn't either gone through therapy or some sort of coaching and kind of mentorship or guidance or who requires it because there's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to, you have nothing to prove. You deserve to figure out how to build a bridge and then cross that bridge from where you are to where you want to be. And sometimes that bridge is called therapy. And sometimes that bridge is called life coaching. And sometimes it's called physical therapist. And sometimes it's called, you know, personal trainer, or sometimes it's called a nutritionist, whatever it is, you are an expert in you and you know if what you're doing is not working and you need some outside guidance to help you, what is it that you're looking to do? Are you looking to, you know, physically get healthier because then you might want to talk to your doctor and get yourself a personal trainer or a physical therapist? Are you looking to change up your diet to use food as medicine so that you can feel better about what you're consuming and then you just overall feel better? then you need a nutritionist. Are you looking for someone to help guide you, be your cheerleader, your accountability partner, to move from today forward and to make every day better and better and better? Then you're looking for a life coach. Are you looking for someone to help you unpack the stuff from your past so that either you can find insight or you can just kind of lay it to rest so you can say it out loud in a safe space? Then you're looking for a therapist or a psychiatrist, right? So you have to figure out what it is that you need and how you're going to build that bridge to connect you again from where you are to where you want and deserve to be. You deserve to be there. And so what is that going to look like for you? What does that bridge look like? Get help. You are deserving and worthy and there's no shame in that get help. And no matter 
what anybody else may say or not say, the truth is that when you are in a happier and healthier place, you're better for everyone that you love and for everything that you do. Get help. You are repeating the same cycles and reliving the same programming and sometimes it takes an outside perspective to come in and to teach you something new or to show you a different path or to give you some different tools or to help you build some different skills, which again are going to help you get from there to there. Get help. If you are looking for ways to get more excited about your life and it's not something that you can just Google, right? Like here's a bunch of ways you can get excited about your life. Sure, you can Google that and find hundreds of ways, but you know that there's something deeper that needs to happen. Get help, right? Because physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health are all tied in together and intertwined. And so get help. Figure out what it is that you need. And if you need guidance from an expert, get help. Because when you do, again, you're taking steps to take care of yourself. And is it going to be hard? Sure, because it's new. And anytime we experience something new, it feels kind of difficult. But if you remember from previous videos, we change our dialogue. We don't call it hard because when we call it hard, the brain starts to shut down and there's almost like a self-sabotage thing that happens. We instead say, this is new and new takes time and it's a process. And especially when we're unpacking stuff or when we're really having to face our own responsibility for every area of our lives, that can feel a little bit uncomfortable. But I promise you that when you do the work and you get to the other side, there's freedom, there's fun, there's light, there's ease, there's love. There's love. And so get help. Figure out what that bridge is going to be for you and get help. I cannot stress that enough. Get help. Okay, so that's all I have. And I hope that you really take this into consideration if you are in those spaces and you're looking for the next step. If you know someone who can benefit from this, please share it. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Again, get help. Get help because we all need it at one point or another in our lives. I will tell you that I am a fan of therapy. I've been to so many rounds of therapy because it was like whenever something else came up, I wanted to unpack it in a safe space with someone who understood the, the brain, you know, the spirit, blah, blah. You can find therapists and life coaches with all different arenas and different specialties and different expertise. Just saying, get help. And I say that with love. All right. I hope you have a great rest of your week, weekend, and then the start to next week. And I will see you next week. Peace.